where Ten Hag's appointment leaves seven-man United stars including Ronaldo and Pogba. Manchester United are closing in on the appointment of Eric Ten Hag as their new permanent manager, and it will offer the chance for the Red Devils to clear out any dead wood this summer. The Dutchman has verbally agreed to sign a four-year contract, and an announcement is expected in the coming weeks to confirm his arrival at Old Trafford. He will be the fourth permanent manager since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement in 2013, but the wait for a league title will extend to a tenth year. It is critical for Man United that the decision to bring in Ten Hag does not end in failure. The Ajax coach has brought success to the Eredivisie outfit with two domestic titles in four seasons and could add a fifth. But the Premier League is one of the most competitive leagues in the world, and United require an injection of exuberance to bring them back to the top four. Much has been made of how Ten Hag will view the current squad and which targets he will look to bring in. But the former Utrecht coach has demonstrated in the past a willingness to give every player a chance to impress, as his current and former players have attested. Still, it is only natural that there will be arrivals and departures this summer. And with the club set to hand their prospective new head coach the funds to put his four-year plan into place, some players are likely to head for the door. Mirror Football looks at the players who may be looking over their shoulder this summer as they aim to impress the inbound new manager, have your say. Which Manchester United players do you want to see head for the exit this summer? Comment below. With a new progressive coach coming in and Ronaldo on the wane at 37, the Portuguese superstar appears to be the most at-risk player in the starting's eye of being dumped by Ten Hag. But his work at Ajax may suggest the head coach has another plan, at least for next season, for Ronaldo. There are limitations to what Ronaldo can do compared to his previous goalscoring heroics. But it must not be forgotten that even with Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho and Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo has outscored them all with 18 goals in all competitions, highlighting his obvious value. The only question that remains is how he will be utilized, given Ten Hag's preference for a 4-3-3 formation that focuses on a slow, patient build-up and possession-based football. Ronaldo is a player that demands the ball and may become frustrated or even isolated up front. But Ten Hag's use of Dusan Tadic at Ajax suggests that he will have a role to play, even if it is not the leading one anymore. It is understood that United have offered Pogba an eye-watering £500,000 a week salary in a last-ditch attempt to keep the Frenchman at Old Trafford. Clearly, such a move would not have been made if their prospective new boss not signed off on it first, indicating Ten Hag sees a place for Pogba in his plans. Few managers would ignore a player of his ability, but at 29, the reality is that Pogba is no longer the striding box-to-box -box operator who oozes confidence with every touch. Injuries appear to have played a part in robbing him of his agility and movement in midfield, making it a tough choice for Ten had to decide where he fits in his plans. It remains a possibility that with just two months left on his contract, the World Cup winner will depart for a new challenge elsewhere. But without an abundance of new clubs to choose from, Ten Hag may find he can persuade Pogba to stay and help put United back on the map. Falling out of favor under Ralph Rangnick has left the striker's future under serious doubt. But a new beginning could tempt Marcus Rashford to reconsider leaving Manchester United. After all, the 24-year-old still has the best years of his career ahead of him and won't be in any rush to commit his future to the Red Devils before seeing what the future holds the first. England international has endured a difficult season, having only returned from shoulder surgery in October, and that has proved detrimental to his form on the pitch. A player who had registered 22 and 21 goals in the last two seasons respectively only has five this term, pointing to a growing problem for United. Out of contract in 14 months' time, and out of form, Ten Hag will surely list helping Rashford rediscover his form as one of his top priorities, because doing so may cancel his need to bring in another striker. While there is hope for Rashford to work under Ten Hag, one player who looks certain to leave is Edinson Cavani. The Uruguayan penned a one-year extension last summer after scoring 17 goals for the club in his first season at the club, following his free transfer from PSG, but is now set to depart, as reported by Fabrizio Romano. The arrival of Ronaldo has certainly reduced Cavani's game time and impact from the bench, with the 35-year-old only making seven starts for United this season and scoring four goals in 16 appearances overall. Reports suggest that La Liga is expected to be his next destination as the veteran striker looks to prolong his career. Ten Hag's arrival will not change Cavani's stance on leaving, and that could force the Dutchman into the market for another striker, 
with Harry Kane and Darwin Nunez among their top targets, according to the Daily Mail. The midfielder's loan deal at Everton is due to expire at the end of the season and, with a permanent deal seemingly not on the table, a return to Old Trafford beckons for Donny van de Beek. If there is a positive for the 24-year-old, it is that it could be third time lucky for the former Ajax ace. After struggling to impress Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick at United, he will know that Ten Hag is a firm believer in his abilities. The pair worked together at Ajax and shared a close relationship as Van de Beek emerged from the academy under Ten Hag's watch to become a key player for the Dutch Giants. He may not be the same player that United paid £35 million for, but United's potential new boss will be confident he can extract the best out of him. Only a last-ditch intervention from Ten Hag can surely convince Jesse Lingard his future still lies with United after a frustrating season. He has seen moves to West Ham, blocked twice by the club, convincing the midfielder to run down his contract and leave on a free transfer. But this is the club where the 29-year-old came through the academy and is a fiercely loyal supporter of. Lingard will explore all of his options before making a final decision on his future, with West Ham and Newcastle United still interested in the attacker. The reality is United have better attackers available at their disposal after signing Sancho last summer and Alanga's emergence under Rangnick. Ten Hag may see him as a useful squad member, but Lingard likely feels he deserves the chance to play regularly at the peak of his career. It will come as no surprise to United fans that, after just one goal for the Spanish outfit since joining on loan in January, Sevilla are not planning a permanent move for Anthony Marshall and that means the French forward could make a remarkable return to Old Trafford. The 26-year-old has fallen down the pecking order to the extent that Anthony Alanga was prioritized by Rangnick ahead of the forward before he left on loan. But his recent comments about his loan spell in Spain suggest he will be heading back to the Red Devils this summer, I see it very complicated to be able to continue at Sevilla, he was quoted telling ABC. I came knowing that I would surely have to return to Manchester United. That would give Ten Hag the choice to keep or sell Marshall, who still has a contract until 2024. His form in the 2019-20 season, where he scored 23 goals in all competitions, proved just how lethal he can be. But United fans may agree that, given his return of eight goals in the last 18 months, the funds raised by selling him could be spent better elsewhere 